A new White House backed model suggests this fall could bring a wave of COVID-19 cases to Minnesota like we haven't seen before. The IHME model now projects more than 90 Minnesotans will die from COVID each day by early November. Kate Raddatz spoke to an expert with, about what the numbers mean and what challenges Minnesotans face to combat the virus. On a gorgeous day in downtown Excelsior, the line is out the door for ice cream. Families soaking up the last days of an unusual summer, many not wearing masks. When COVID started and it was still cold outside and it wasn't really great to be outside. And as soon as the weather broke, completely different. As summer comes to an end, a new model projects a worse outcome in Minnesota for the fall into winter. Overall, showing that more than 6,100 Minnesotans will die from COVID-19 by the end of 2020, around triple where the total numbers are at now. A lot of it will be weather dependent, school, and then activities. Dr. George Morris is the physician incident commander for the COVID-19 response at CentraCare. He says Minnesotans will be challenged with a change of seasons, with people spending more time inside away from the cold. When we were outside around the campfire, we were a little bit more spaced. But now, if we're inside, we will be closer, we'll be sharing the air a lot more, uh, touching things more, and perhaps not wearing as masks as much. The fall season also marks the resumption of school in person for many students for the first time in six months. We do expect it to just like ramp up a bit here with school starting. Andrea Tobias and her kids visited her parents over the weekend before they start school. They won't be having visits after that for the time being. We still we want to send our kids right away, uh, but we do feel that we should keep them away from our, our more elderly family and friends. The model does show that the end of your death total could be significant reduced with universal mask compliance. Kate Raddatz, WCCO 4 News. The experts say wearing masks and staying socially distant will be especially important in the coming weeks. Heading into a more difficult season, we're heading into the fall and the winter when we would expect a respiratory pathogen like a coronavirus to start spreading more aggressively than it would in the summertime. Dr. Gottlieb was on Face the Nation today. He says he believes the likelihood of a COVID-19 vaccine this year is slim.